I'm Jen Royal with the Boston Herald and welcome to another edition of Talk of the Town sponsored by Aria Trattoria, one of the north end of Boston's greatest Italian restaurants. We're back here at Bruins practice and just when Bruins fans thought they were excited about young guys like Riley Smith, Dougie Hamilton, uh, Tori Krug, Seth Griffith comes out of nowhere and, and shocks everybody with two amazing goals of the four that he's already scored this season. So we're about to talk to Seth Griffith and talk to him a little bit about how high he is and how important it is for him to stay even keel during this hot time in his career. All right, Seth, or should I call you Superman? Um, how are you feeling today after that incredible goal uh, that you scored last night through your legs? Uh, pretty good. Um, you know, it was just one of those things where the puck's bouncing all over the place, and it was fortunate enough to stay in my feet and just tried to get a stick on it. And, um, you know, like I said, fortunate enough it went in. Okay, so you imitate Bobby Orr, not purposely, of course, in your goal versus the Wild. Again, the great goal last night versus New Jersey. You're getting so much attention right now for these two incredible goals, but how important is it for you to stay even keel through this, you know, hot time right now? Because it's not always going to be like this. I'm assuming you don't have any more tricks in your bag. Yeah, um, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm just trying to go hard to the net, and that's what I did on those two goals. And, um, you know, uh, it, it can happen anyway. Goals happen uh, differently all the time. So um, for me, I'm just uh, working on doing that. Um, and, you know, good things happen when you do that. Seth, your journey here, um, first uh, fifth round pick in, in 2012, how important is it for you early in your career to kind of come out of the gate strong and show everybody what you're capable of? Yeah, um, you know, I've never been given anything um, uh, throughout my life, so I've always been a type of person to, uh, um, you know, have to work a little hard, and I think that, uh, you know, I, I've always liked that. I, I take pride in working hard, so, um, you know, it's just something that I come to the rink and do every day, and, um, you know, I think it just makes, uh, makes you a better person when you have to do stuff like that. So the Boston Red Sox uh, this past season had so many rookies coming up, mostly because they were out of playoff contention, and, and Johnny Gomes, uh, the outfield, fielder for the Red Sox told me that his message to the young kids was stop thinking about how you got here and try to figure out how to stay here. Do you think about that? Yeah, um, for sure, but you know, there's a reason why you're here as well, so I think um, if you're doing all the things that got you here and um, you know, you're doing them while you're here, obviously you have a good chance to stay in here, so um, for me, that's just working hard every day. I come to the rink and um, you know, you got to enjoy it along the way too. You know, I've been talking to a lot of the young kids here, Dougie Hamilton, Riley Smith, Tori Krug, um, and we talked about how nice it is to kind of have all you guys here together going through it as rookies, um, but to be on the first line with, with, with Krejci and Luke Cheech. How amazing is that? And does that up your game? Yeah, um, you know, they're great players and obviously uh, they want to have stuff happen every night, every shift. And, you know, that's the type of player I am as well. So um, when you have players like that that want to go every night, um, you know, it just makes uh, makes to, uh, you know, you have fun every night and, you know, you just want to get stuff done every shift. Okay. Well, uh, we appreciate your time and good luck the rest of the season. And hopefully you can show us some more incredible goals. Thank you.